Many female engineers have been responsible for innovations throughout history, so in honour of International Women's Day on March 8th, we're looking at some inspirational stories, both old and new, from pioneering women in the engineering industries. We'll also be exploring just how many women are working in engineering currently and the challenges they face. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe below and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. In the past, women with engineering skills often tried to gain recognition as inventors or mathematicians since engineering was not considered a formal profession. Ada Lovelace was a great example of this. She was a mathematician born in the 19th century and was the first person to see the potential of the analytical engine as a device that could function like a computer. She is famously known as the first computer programmer, having accomplished this feat over a century before the computer's recognised invention. Women were often academically trained in mathematics or science, but were not eligible to graduate with a degree. It wasn't until 1876 that Elizabeth Bragg became the first female to earn a civil engineering degree. Edith Clark is also credited with being one of the first female engineers. Born in 1883, she created the Clark Calculator for graphing electrical properties and became the first female professor of electrical engineering in America. Fast forward to the 20th century, women began to enter the engineering field officially. During World War II, women were needed to fill engineering roles left vacant by men serving in the military. This opened so many new opportunities for women in engineering, and many continued to work in the field after the war ended. Despite this progress, women still faced discrimination and were often not taken seriously in the field. It took until the second wave feminism movement in the 1960s and 1970s for the number of women in engineering programmes and jobs to increase. For example, in the 60s, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology built its first women's dormitory on campus and began enrolling more females into their engineering degrees. This was largely influenced by female faculty members Mildred Dresselhaus and Sheila Widnall, who actively promoted women's engineering education. Towards the end of the 20th century, engineering programmes became even more accessible to women, for example, between 1980 and 1994, the United States saw a 45% increase in engineering degrees awarded to women. So what is the current state of engineering and what percentage of engineers are female? Engineering UK reported in March 2022 that women make up only 16.5% of all engineers. Why is this? While women in engineering face several challenges. Bias and discrimination are some of the most common hurdles women face in male-dominated industries. No matter how open-minded someone might think they are, research has shown how easy it is for our conscious and unconscious biases to impact our work environments. In some cases, a lack of female role models can also make it difficult for women to envision themselves in leadership positions. Work-life balance issues can also be a deciding factor in whether or not a woman is able to succeed in the industry. The Society of Women Engineers published a report in 2020 that found women without managerial support for work-family balance were likely to leave the occupation. A subconscious bias from a young age can also play a role in pushing young women away from the industry. The Women's Engineering Society states in a report from 2018 that boys have more positive views of engineering than girls do, even in primary school and this doesn't improve as they get older. Only 25.4% of girls aged 16 to 18 would consider a career in engineering, compared to 51.9% of boys. Despite these challenges, there are many inspiring stories of female engineers who have broken barriers and achieved great success in the field. Lillian Gilbreth, for example, was the first woman to earn a PhD in engineering from the University of California in 1914. She went on to become a pioneering industrial engineer and the mother of 12 children. Ellen Ochoa became the first Hispanic woman to go to space in 1993 and is also regarded as a talented engineer, receiving numerous awards for her work. Marissa Mayer has achieved significant business success and is considered one of the most influential women in science and engineering today. She made history by becoming the first female engineer at Google and later became the first female CEO of Yahoo. 
Patricia Bath, a pioneering African-American woman, was the first female doctor to obtain a medical patent. Her innovative technology revolutionised the treatment and elimination of cataracts, and she was also the first African-American to complete an ophthalmology residency. Her dedication and brilliance not only restored the vision of patients who had been blind for decades, but also contributed significantly to the advancement of African-American rights. You watching this may also be looking to make a mark on the industry. So if you're a woman interested in pursuing a career in engineering, there are a few things you can do to increase your chances of success. First, find female role models who can offer you guidance and support. Look for networking opportunities such as conferences and events and join organisations dedicated to supporting women in engineering. It's also essential to develop strong technical skills and stay current on the latest technology and trends in the field. Consider pursuing a graduate degree or certification to increase your knowledge and expertise and keep up to date with what is going on in your areas of interest. Finally, don't be afraid to advocate for yourself and your work. Speak up in meetings, ask for credit when it's due and promote your achievements. Despite the challenges faced by women in engineering, the future looks bright. Diversity in the workplace is proven to bring various perspectives, experiences and ideas to the table. Companies are now recognising that this can lead to increased innovation, creativity and problem solving. Additionally, the growing demand for engineers in fields such as renewable energy, healthcare and biotechnology means there is an abundance of global roles waiting to be filled by talent from all backgrounds. Women have made great strides in engineering over the past century, but there is still work to be done to increase the number of women in the field and support their success. By joining together, advocating for change and supporting each other's achievements, we can create a more inclusive and empowering future for women in engineering. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe down below, like this video and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. If you're looking for your next role in engineering, you can view all our open vacancies or register your CV with us at nesfercroft.com. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at nesfercroft. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.